Nigeria gets 592,880 COVID-19 vaccine doses from UK. Yesterday the federal government received 592,880 more doses of vaccination AstraZeneca Oxford COVID-19 given by the United Kingdom via the COVAX facility. According to a statement from the UK, this increases the total amount of COVID-19 vaccine doses given to Nigeria by the UK via COVAX to 1,292,640 doses in August alone. These vaccinations were given to Nigeria as part of a donation by the UK of over 5 million doses of AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccines via COVAX, a program intended to guarantee equitable worldwide access to COVID-19 vaccines. This newest shipment was part of the UK's donation of 9 million COVID-19 vaccinations to countries worldwide since the end of July 2021. Zambia, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Malawi, Senegal, Egypt, Ethiopia, and Pakistan are among the recipients. According to the announcement, these doses given by the United Kingdom are part of a larger commitment to share 100 million vaccinations with the rest of the globe by June 2022. 80% of these doses will be distributed through the COVAX facility, with 30 million doses scheduled to be distributed by the end of 2021. According to the statement, UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson made this promise at the UK's hosting of the G7 Leaders Summit earlier this year. The UK also led the global COVID-19 response by kicking off the path to setting up the COVAX facility by 2020, giving £548 million to finance lower revenue vaccines. To date, the COVAX facility has distributed over 152 million vaccination doses to over 137 nations and territories, including 83 countries of lower middle income. COVAX's goal is to provide 1.8 billion vaccinations to low- and middle-income countries by early 2022. Additionally, the UK contributed £90 million to the development of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. Throughout the world over 1 billion doses of Oxford AstraZeneca were given at a non-profit rate and two-thirds were delivered to nations with lower and medium incomes. This will assist Nigeria in meeting its immediate vaccination need. Only by increasing worldwide vaccination rates will we be able to put a stop to the global coronavirus pandemic.